This video will cover expected value and variance. Now, expected value, given I'm someone who uh, used to play poker one day, is actually quite an important concept and is quite useful in, in life in all sorts of different fields, not necessarily poker. And what the concept means is basically, it's a bit like the mean. It's what you expect to get typically. So your typical expectation is this result. That's your expected value. It's kind of common sense. That's what the words say. It's your expected value. It's what you expect to get overall. And the way you work it out is you get each value times by the probability of getting it. So here the value is 1 and the probability of getting it is 0 0.1. So this might be a bad result, but the chances of getting it are quite small. So when you times it, it'd be quite a small answer. Let's look over here. 5 might be a brilliant result, but again, the chances of getting it are relatively small. So you times it, it balances it all out, and then you add them all up. So expected value, again, is what you expect to get, and how you get it is you add up this times this, this times this, this times this, etc. Let's do this question. The random variable x has probability distribution this. Given that the expected value of x, that's e of x, that's what it means, is 3, write down two equations. Now the first equation, you might be thinking, yeah, I can do this. We just do 1 times 0 0.1, 2 times p, etc., and we add it up and we equal to p. But where's the second equation coming from? Well, the second equation comes from one of the basic facts about probability, which is that probability always adds up to 1. So we simply get all of these probabilities down here, and we add them up. So that would be 0 0.6 if you add the numbers, plus p plus q equals to 1. And we have two equations here. I've saved some time by working them out. If you times it, times it, add it up, keep adding, simplify by taking away two from both sides, you get this equation underneath here. Let me underline it. You can check my working out, but that's the equation you get using the expected value by again timesing it and adding it up. This is the probability and the equation you get if you know that probabilities add up to 1. p plus q equals 0.4. Now that looks to me like a simultaneous equation. So to work out a simultaneous equation, you write them one on top of another and you make one of the variables equal. So I, hit, I made uh, 2p equal. So this was uh, 2p already and to get this to be 2p I times it all by 2 and I got this. Now minusing the two equations, 2p take away 2p is nothing, 4q take away 2q is 2q, and 1 take away 0 0.8 is 0 0.2. And what we get is 2q equals 0 0.2, q equals 0 0.1, and if you put that one, that answer, back into here, if q is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3, is 0.4. So that's how you use expected value. That was a kind of a tough example with a simultaneous equation, but it really taught the topic well, I think. Expected value, you multiply the value by the probability of getting it. And that basically weights W E I G H T, not W A I T. It weights the probability. So it balances it out according to how likely you are to get it. There's other questions they can ask about expected value, and that's the expected value of x squared. Sounds hard, but it's really quite simple. All you do, for example here, uh, for question A, is you write the same thing again, except you replace the x with an x squared, and you square all the values. So 1 becomes 1, 2 becomes 4, 3 becomes 9, and 4 becomes 16, because 4 squared is 16, etc. So you have a third row here, where, which looks like this. And how do you reckon we find the expected value of that? You guessed it, by timesing it and adding it up. So that would be 1 times 12 over 25, 4, which is 2 squared, times 6 over 25, 3 squared, which is 9 times 4 over 25, etc. And you add that all up, and you get 120 over 25 and that is the expected value of x squared. Why is that useful? Because that would help us to find the variance. Super important 
uh, concept, the variance. How do we work out the variance? One very clear way of remembering it. It's the expected value of x squared take away the expected value of x squared. Big difference. The expected value of x squared is the one we just did. That's where you square all the x's and then times it and add it up. The expected value of x is the one we worked out over here. So in this question it would be 3. Or in this question you'd have to just times each of these before you square it and then add it up. And then that number squared. And the, these will always, almost always be different. So when you take it away you'll get a difference and that difference is your variance.